Hey there, space enthusiasts. Ever looked up at the night sky and wondered what mysteries lie among the stars? Well, there's one particular star out there that has left scientists baffled for over 60 years. It's called Przybylski's Star, or HD 11165, and it's not just any ordinary star. This star seems to defy the laws of nature as we know them. So buckle up, because today we're diving deep into the cosmos to explore why this star has everyone talking. Imagine discovering a star that's just like our sun in many ways, similar in size with a slightly higher temperature, but there's something profoundly strange about it. When astronomers first started studying Przybylski's star in the 1960s, they found something in its atmosphere that shocked them. Elements that simply shouldn't be there. And when I say shouldn't be there, I mean elements that are so unstable, they don't occur naturally and can only be created in laboratories by humans. I'm talking about elements like Promethium, Plutonium, Americium and Einsteinium, all of which have incredibly short half-lives and decay far too quickly to exist naturally in a star's atmosphere for long periods. Let's break it down. Promethium has a half-life of about 17 years. That means after 17 years, half of any amount of Promethium would have decayed into something else. Stars like Przybylski's, which are billions of years old, should have no traces of such short-lived elements if they were originally present when the star was formed. But here's the thing. Promethium and other synthetic elements are still being detected in the star's atmosphere, which raises an enormous question. How are these elements still there? You're probably thinking, okay, how can this be? Well, scientists have been grappling with this very question for decades, and they've proposed a few intriguing theories along the way. The most straightforward explanation would be that there's an unknown process happening inside the star itself, one that's creating these heavy artificial elements. Now, we know that stars are essentially gigantic nuclear reactors, constantly fusing lighter elements like hydrogen and helium into heavier ones. But the problem is, the processes that typically happen inside stars don't account for the production of these super-heavy, highly unstable elements. So, if this theory is true, it would mean we're dealing with some exotic nuclear reactions that we don't yet understand. Could Przybylski's star be teaching us something new about stellar physics? Possibly, but so far, scientists haven't cracked the code. Another theory involves the idea of a nearby supernova. Picture a massive star exploding in a supernova, scattering its guts, including radioactive elements, out into the universe. Some of those elements could have been absorbed by Przybylski's star. But even this theory doesn't fully explain the continuous presence of these elements because, again, they decay so rapidly. If the supernova happened a long time ago, we'd expect these elements to have decayed by now. And here's where we get into the realm of speculation that's sure to excite any sci-fi fan. Could alien technology be involved? I know it sounds far-fetched, but bear with me. Some scientists, including the legendary Carl Sagan, have speculated that advanced civilizations might leave behind signals or traces of their existence through radioactive waste or other methods. The idea is that an intelligent species could have left these elements in the star's atmosphere, either intentionally or as byproducts of their activities. While there's no solid evidence to back this up, it remains one of the more intriguing possibilities especially given how bizarre the situation is. Whatever the explanation, Przybylski's star is a genuine cosmic enigma. Even after decades of study, scientists are no closer to a definitive answer about how these strange elements are appearing in the star's atmosphere. It's not like any other star we've seen, and the presence of these synthetic short-lived elements suggests that there's something happening here that we don't fully understand. And that's what makes this star so fascinating. It's challenging everything we think we know about the universe. The star also raises broader questions about the nature of the cosmos. Are there other stars like Przybylski's out there, hiding similar secrets? 
Could this discovery point to unknown processes happening in the universe that we haven't yet discovered? Or for those who dream big, could it be a sign of something more? Perhaps evidence of advanced civilizations leaving their mark in ways we can't yet comprehend. In any case, Trebilsky's star is a reminder that the universe is full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. With each new discovery, we learn that there's so much more out there than we ever imagined. Whether the explanation lies in unknown physics, remnants of ancient supernovae, or something more extraordinary, this star continues to captivate the imagination of scientists and stargazers alike. As we continue to explore the cosmos, Przybylski's star stands as a beacon of curiosity. Maybe one day we'll have the tools, knowledge and technology to finally understand what's happening in its atmosphere. Until then, it serves as a cosmic puzzle, reminding us of the vastness of the universe and the countless mysteries that still await discovery. So the next time you find yourself gazing up at the stars, think about Przybylski's star, a star that's defying the rules, challenging science and keeping us all guessing. And who knows? Maybe one day this strange star will unlock secrets that change our understanding of the universe forever.